by professionals for over 40 years, we're proud to introduce Kills Master Collection of Rollers. The roller covers and frames are available in two lengths, the 9-inch roller in naps for both smooth and semi-rough surfaces, and the 6-inch roller in both a standard nap and also high-density foam for glossy applications. Add two packs and trays and the Kills Master Collection of Rollers gives you everything you need to get started on the perfect finish. Hey, I'm here with Sam Weinstein, who's going to tell you a little bit about base choice. I Man, I tell you what, if you got a wall to paint, you got to put some cum saw all over that wall, make them look the exact same, you a professional, you a DIY, do it yourself person, look, base choice, they're the best choice like that. You can't get no better, they got the scrapers, they got the trays, they got this nice little, little package like this, they got the roller, they got two rollers to put on the roller, got the uh, paint thing to open it so you ain't got to use a little flathead or break your pocket knife. A brush, a little stir, you got everything you need all right here in this little thing. And how much is it? $19.99. Hi, Dan with HomeRite. I'm going to show you how to use the paint stick easy twist. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take the lid off of our paint can. So then we need to put the fill tube into the paint. This end's going to go down inside the paint. This clamp will hold it onto the side of the can. There's two lips here that stick out and these will go underneath the lip of your paint can. So we're just going to drop this right down into the paint, open the clamp up and it go, you can see it goes all the way down to that second lip which is good and that'll hold the fill tube down into the paint. A tip is, is to keep the bale opposite of your fill tube. That way it'll be easy to pick up and carry your paint can. Next we need to make sure that the paint stick is ready for use. We're going to check that the roller frame is nice and firmly secure into the valve body by tightening this nut. You might see some extra threads here. That's okay. We're going to make sure that the roller cover turns freely. We want to make sure that the piston is free for movement. We're going to do that by moving this lever down, twisting that outer knob. You can see the piston moving here. We want this lever in the up position. This is for filling so we have free movement of the piston. We also want to make sure that this valve is not dry. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little Vaseline. This is the packet that came with the unit. We're going to use a little of this Vaseline in the fill valve now to uh, make sure that when we go down on the fill tube, we have a nice tight seal. To fill the paint stick, you want to make sure that the fill tube is opposite from where you're standing. Look at the angle I have the paint stick at now. This is about the right angle you'll want to come onto the fill tube. We, won't, we don't want to be like this, and we, we don't want to be like this. So we'll put the fill port down over the fill tube, like so. Now we're going to pull back the handle, and we're going to see some air and some paint coming in. That's, that's okay. We're going to lift it up slightly, we're going to put it back on, and now we're going to push it down. We're going to kind of purge it, get the air out of the system, push back in on the fill tube. And now when we come back, you should see a nice clean pull of paint. Next we lift the paint stick up off of the fill tube, and the fill valve automatically closes behind it. Now we're ready to paint. To begin painting, push the lever down. That'll engage the twist action, and we'll start twisting and feeding paint up through the tube, through the roller frame, to the roller cover. And you'll start to see paint coming out of the roller cover like little polka dots. It'll take quite a bit of paint to get up to the roller cover and get the roller cover saturated. When you're rolling, if you see polka dots on your wall like this, it means you don't have enough paint and you need to feed the paint stick more paint. Now you can see the roller is getting nice and saturated. Now you can see I can roll all the way from the ceiling down to the floor without bending or going up on a ladder. And if I need a little more paint, I just give it a twist and keep going.
no back and forth to the pan, no Z's and W's. I'm just getting a nice, even coat of paint all the way across the wall. I think I need a little more paint. There, now it's time to clean this up, but we still have some paint left over in the handle, and I'm gonna show you what to do with that. So we have paint left over in the handle. I'm gonna show you how we can put that back in the can. Put it back on the fill tube, put the lever in the up position, and we can push the paint and return it back to the can, same way we took it out. That's gonna save us some paint for touch up and later use and it's gonna speed up our cleanup. So now we're gonna to go to the wash tub and I'll show you how to rinse this out. Here's a tip when cleaning the paint stick, is to wrap the roller in plastic wrap. That way it'll keep your hands clean when you take off the roller. Now we're gonna take the roller off. I'm gonna tap it on the side of the sink here to get it loose. And I'm gonna set that right over here for now. And I'm going to show you how to rinse out the roller frame and the handle in this wash tub. I'm going to put my thumb over the fill port here so it'll draw the water into the handle. And I'm just going to pump this a few times here to flush out the handle and the roller frame. I'm going to change out the water here and do this one more time. Then I'm gonna wash out the roller and rinse out the end caps and the spacer, let those parts dry, and then we can reassemble it for our next use.